Nate and I are back out at it chasing crappies on the Wisconsin River system in super shallow cover, like three feet or less, uh, and just targeting them with little mini jigs, uh, crappie minnows. So we are going to, we had a nice day yesterday, we've got nice sun today, it should pull those fish up into this tight wood, so we're hoping for some good luck today, and let's get at it. Alright, day two of chasing crappies, here we go. Oh. That is a good one. Good start. Just a nice 10, 11 inch crappie. Probably more like 11. It's a good one. All right, off to the races. Yeah. yeah. We got one. That is a big f Should we go get him? Okay, there we go. That's a good one. Just, oh, was he hooked pretty good though? <laughs> well, that was a little bit more work than I thought we were going to have to go through to get that one, but we got it. We'll let that spot rest a little bit, I guess. Now we drove right over it and try some of our other spots. <laughs> as soon as it went over top of the branch, I'm like, oh, it's going to get, oh, boop, there we go. Figures. Do we have, ever have any luck on this side of it? Yeah. I thought it was to the left there. Nice! There we go. That was like the perfect cast too, just tucked her right back in there. Yeah. Nice fish. Yep. Oh, that's a nice fish, man. Yep. Oh, look at that guy. Just good looking crappie. Oh, someone's in Fuego. Lucky there. Nice fish. Yep. What are you using? Just a 64th ounce jig head and a crappie minnow. Yeah. Pretty shallow. Yeah, what about a foot? Mm -hmm. All right, well. I'll see if I can get this one stuck on the side here. Seeing how I had a hit over here. Let's see how we fare right there. Yeah, I was kind of watching you and I looked back and my bobber was just sunk right there. 
<laughs> Come here, buddy. There's a lot of fish on your shoreline, man. Yep. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah. I think so. Nope. Both. Oh no, I got stuck on it. God dang it. Yeah, I'm not getting that one back because that got stuck good in there. Well, there you go. Back on him. Nice. Here, let's yeah, let's take a look real quick. What do we got? Eleven. Yeah. Yep. Touch over. If yep. I pinched it. That is a good one. There we go. Wow, he wasn't getting away. Just solid, solid fish. They are stacked up in that spot. That bobber barely hit the water, and that fish was on it. Man. Starting to be a healthy population in the live well there. Well, I'm stuck both bobbers on the same spot. <laughs> oh. Oh, get him off there. <laughs> there we go. Wow. That just goes to show you, you got to check spots that you've never really fished before because I've fished this little stretch here a ton and always assumed this stuff right here was too shallow and it clearly is not. Oh, you got him. <laughs> Looks like a nice male. There you go. Dark. Got it. Yep, nothing wrong with that here. Let me do another quick check on him. Put him on the old judge. 11, 11 and a half. Perfect eating size. Brian, I, I really do think we should get another and again, if anybody's wondering why we're just leaving these two rods that are stuck on a branch just sit there, I mean, we don't want to tug on anything down there too hard and spook the fish out of there, so we usually just get the line kind of tight to get it, keep it out of the way and try to fish around it for as long as we can and pull as many fish out as we can before we go up in there and try to get our stuff back. Yep. Dunk, dunk, dunk. 
And that one guy just could not figure it out. That's a dandy one. Oh, that's my buddy from earlier. I didn't. I didn't lose this jig here, dude. I lost that jig at the other tree. Oh, you did. Yeah, I did. That. That tells you how quickly they. Can tells move. you how fast those fish can move, guys. Look at that. That is a jig I lost around this point and back in earlier. That's crazy. It's cool. Got my jig back. <laughs> He was right back in there. Oh, further right along that branch. That okay. Oh, I'm down. Who? <laughs> Almost didn't make that one in. <laughs> That's a dandy. I just happened to look up and I'm like, huh, Bobber's uh, super sunk in the middle of all that jazz there. Huh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Close quarters fishing. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I wonder if she really got back in there. <laughs> See what happens. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got one. <laughs> yeah I, I definitely think with those weedless jigs if you can kind of keep your patience and just put you know, get some more pressure on it than you'd usually have with an open hook your hooking percentage goes up a little bit anyway Well, same thing, but oh, <laughs> wow, that is really pulling them out of the sticks, man. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> well, it is clouding up. We have to call it a day. But I hope you enjoyed watching that episode of us catching those crappies. That was a blast. I love catching crappies anyway, and pulling them out of wood like that is is a lot of fun. So with that, we're done. So thank you very much. Hit the subscribe button. Put any questions you might have in the comments, and I will see you later. Bye.